It's really become clear that the microbiome plays a, a big part in many aspects of our health. But this week, there's news of one health outcome it influences that I found surprising, exercise and cancer survival rates. Yeah, so, so let's go into that mm. because we know that exercise improves cancer survival, but what has that got to do with the microbiome? Well, I think it's probably quite well known at this point that exercise, being fit, makes you less likely to get cancer in the first place. Um, But it's also been known for a little while that exercise seems to be linked to improved outcomes if you do get cancer. And some of the statistics we see around that, it might just be, uh, for example, uh, exercise uh, helps deal with some of the side effects you get with cancer treatment, or say it's kind of knock-on effects. If if it's uh, good for your heart, it means that you're not going to um, survive cancer only to die of heart disease a few (laughs) years later, which, you know, uh, cancer is more common the older you get. So that's a factor in these studies. But this new study suggests a more direct effect that exercise may have on tumour growth and it is mediated by the microbiome. Okay. And so is that through somehow the effect on inflammation or the immune system? Because we know there's that link. Yeah, so immune system uh, seems to be key here. And and it all starts in mouse experiments, but I promise it does get to humans. (laughs) (laughs) So a team in Pittsburgh gave aggressive melanomas to two groups of mice. Some were sedentary and the others had been on a four-week exercise regime. And as Avery Herr wrote for us this week, they found, as expected, that the mice who'd exercised had smaller tumours and better survival rates. However, that effect was not seen when they did this in exercising mice who'd been given either antibiotics or had been kept in a germ-free environment. All right. So that's we classically see this in microbiome studies, don't we, that you raise mice in a sterile environment yeah. so they're able to look at the effect of microbes on, on yeah, their Yeah, or what, what happens if you don't have microbes. Mm. And so the fact that they didn't see this protective effect in sterile mice or mice who'd basically had their microbes nuked by antibiotics suggests that you need those microbes to have this protective effect that they were seeing. And then the team went on to identify a molecule called formate that's made by bacteria Mm. and increases in the body when we exercise. Okay, and what's formate doing? So you mentioned the immune system. It seems to boost the power of a particular kind of immune cell that kills cancer. And when they looked at people with advanced melanoma, they found that patients with high levels of formate tended to fare better than those with low levels. Okay, so we know that microbes uh, seem to be implicated in different a range of different gut conditions yep. um, and now there's this idea that the microbes produce this formate beneficial mm. molecule when we exercise so that's that's really cool that's the mm. first time we've had a link between uh, seen the mechanism between exercise and a beneficial effect yeah and so it's early days of course uh, there's a there's a lot that we don't know yet so you know there's all different kinds of cancer and stages and things and uh, what's the best way to harness right. the benefits of exercise here and like what would happen do you have to keep exercising in the long term to keep cancer at bay there's there's a lot of questions and of course we should say that if you do have cancer it, it's best to speak to your doctors before making lifestyle changes yeah yeah of course um about formate i mean this is the whole thing is i found it fascinating so i reached out to marley's meisel uh, of the university of pittsburgh um, and i asked her more about this um, the exercise experiment and the formate and she told me a, a way w- that we might use this down mm. the line which is uh, fecal microbial transplants poo transplants haven't heard about them in a while <laughs> <laughs> With good reason, probably. <laughs> um, and so you can imagine that would be a way that you could get uh, formate into uh, into an animal that's a, or into a human that's mm. in trouble. Um, and uh, here she is talking about that, and she's at the airport, so you might hear some announcements going on. <laughs> so what we showed is that exercise changes the gut microbiota and uh, induces the production of a specific metabolite, which is a short-chain fatty acid called formate that uh, we found to directly act on, on the very potent anti-tumor cells, the CD8 T cells that, that kill cancer, basically. And we found that formate really enhances the capacity of those anti-tumor CD8 T cells to fight cancer. More potently, we found that formate acted uh, synergistically together with immune checkpoint inhibitors, such as pdl one and very potently suppressed tumor outgrowth. When we perform a human to mouse fecal microbial transplant using stool of healthy humans that have very high formate levels into mice with uh, an aggressive melanoma, 
those mice have significantly smaller tumors, have a much more potent anti-tumor response, and the format production was still elevated in the, in the mouse intestines in comparison to mice that received stool from donors with very low format levels, really suggesting that microbiota-derived format is potentially novel biomarker for anti-tumor responses.